Hey, what's up guys? It's Chaos here, I'm bringing you guys another video. So today, first, I'm bringing you guys an update to the eBooks. If you guys have already bought the eBooks, I'm sending out to the email that you bought it with. So make sure you guys check your emails. If it's not in your regular inbox, check your spam, whatever it goes to. Just check all your inboxes. If you don't get it, you can hit me up on Twitter. You can uh, email me on that email that I have set up on there. Um, or you can always try to comment here. But Twitter is honestly the best place to do it. Secondly, if you haven't bought the ebook, it's in the description below, and it's very, very good. It's on Trips Tight Ends offense, Bainic Lover G on defense, and uh, 335 out on defense. Now today, I told you guys I'm bringing you guys an update to the Nickel 335 that I am running currently and what I already had on YouTube. So on YouTube, I already had a really good scheme from it, but uh, with, the, with the way the man's changed and the way it continues to grow, you always find new things. So 335 is being ran a little bit differently now, um, just a little bit, and uh, I'll show you guys that today. Um, so let's jump into the video, and always, if you guys could like the video, that'd be great for me. It truly helps me a lot. You guys have been doing such a good job with that. Um, so if we get 250 likes from this video, I'll bring you guys another tip that can really help you guys get better at the game. But let's jump into the video, man. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, I want to start off in the right top-hand corner. Um, I'll have a playlist for you guys in the cards. It's all the previous stuff on 335, which, yes, they still work. The shed defense, the blitzes, the coverage defenses, the run defenses, all that stuff still works. So make sure you guys check that out if you haven't seen it already. Now, we'll jump into this part of the video. So with nickel 335, you want auto flip on. That's the most important part because against almost every single formation, especially all the popular ones, trips tight end, bunch, bunch week, all that stuff, it's going to put your nickel opposite the running back. That's the most important part just off rip, just starting off. So first, we'll start with the shed defense. Uh, before you used to spread line and crash out. Now I just crash out, which is just LB, right stick up, just crash out, and you're gonna get a lot of really good edge pressure from their from your ends. So practice mode is a little quirky, so it might not work exactly perfectly, but trust me, if you play 335, you know this edge rush heat. So that was perfect. That's it, exactly. Bam. I'm not gonna drown on this too much. Um, I'll probably show it one more time. Um, but this is what you want. So when you crash up, a lot of the time you'll get this and it just gets this quick edge, like little swim move uh, around the edge and he gets to the quarterback super quickly and you get a sack. So it can happen from both sides. Sometimes it happens from both of the same play, uh, but it's kind of rather random when it happens. So um, show you guys just one more time. And that's uh, this time they kind of got really good defense. I mean, really good. We end up block shedding eventually, but they actually got good blocking for it, which will happen, especially because practice mode is just so weird. Um, I'm not going to really pay too much attention to that. It might have been because I forgot to baseline. You want to baseline as well. Um, but right there, so we got it. Um, that's perfect. So you guys get it. I mean, if you guys want to see more, I'm not going to keep showing you guys on this. Like I said, check out those previous videos. But you see, this is like the basis of the defense. The fact that you can get these edge rushes. So he was in a double team, and he still gets to his edge rush, like little spin moves. So... That's perfect, you guys get it. No need to drown on that. Now the second part of this defense is this. If you want pretty much guaranteed pressure, especially if they're not blocking the running back, I bring this nickel back to like right here. You see how he kinda, his, his rush almost blends with the end? That's what I do. So to make it blend with the end and like just a little bit behind the linebacker. So like right, like right here is like perfect. So that's what you want from him. And when they hike it, he's gonna come around the end most of the time. He was coming in. He actually, he actually ended up coming in, but he ran. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the replay. This is funny. So he like tripped on his end or something. But you guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys this because this, this is the first new thing. So he was coming in around the end, and he this guy like blocked him. He blocked him into him, and he tripped, and then he ends up getting blocked a little bit. But I'll show you guys that again. It's really, really good. So you just wanted to be like right here and you want him to blend with it okay you guys can get you guys can get really quick at setting that up you kind of figure it out really quickly um, and he comes in free so that was perfect I'll go to the replay um, now you're only sending four so like you have seven people in coverage which is very very good I'm obviously not making any adjustments don't be that guy in the chat oh you could just be covered too no just check the previous adjustments and those videos you guys can see tons of different things you can do it's easily easily the most versatile defense in the game which is why I'm using it but you see from this spot, the O-line just doesn't even register them, and he just runs around and sacks them. So, I'll show it one more time. I don't think my adjustment went through there, so. All right, there. Perfect. 
And I think I actually got the wrong, like, I actually didn't put him in the right spot. But you see, we got the two edge rushes. So I'm going to go back to it and show it. So I guess part of it, too, if this guy gets occupied by the nickel, which is what he did, you get the perfect edge rush. So I got the perfect edge rush here, and then I get the perfect edge rush here. So the, the guy had no time in the pocket at all, um, regardless of the nickel came in or not. But I don't know. I think part of the reason why it's not working is because my adjustments just aren't working correctly. I don't know why they're not going through. It's been weird, but right there is good. Um, now he's he was uh, coming around the edge, but we got to disengage. You guys see it. It's really, really good um, with the send four. And I'll start blocking the running back now in a second. Um, and we got the perfect edge rushes. Double sack. I mean, it's just so good, guys, because look, I showed you guys the edge rush pressure before. When you put this guy in this spot, sometimes he'll, he's, so 75 is checking him. He's occupying him. When he occupies him, it just allows this guy to go right around everybody and we get sacks. So, show you one or two more times. I'm not going to keep drowning. Yo, what is going on with my baseline? So, right here, line him up. Perfect. And that time. The nickel comes in. Not gonna keep going back to the replay. You guys see it. Very, very, very good. Now, uh, I'll do it with a block running back now. Block running back's gonna help it a little bit, but I mean, you're still gonna get good shed pressure, so just keep showing that to you. Now, see the running back's occupied with the uh, with the nickel. The edge comes in. Only send it four people, so you have seven versus four receivers. It's really, really easy to play defense when you don't have to send a ton of people, and you can still play really good defense. I forgot to block the running back there, but of course it's an insta sack. Um, that's my fault. Right there, block the block the running back, and there you go. The nickel gets occupied. We get an insta sack. I'm telling you guys, this is such good defense. Um, it'll scare you. It's very, very hard to play offense when you got um, seven people in coverage and you're only having to guard four. Um, so now that you guys got that, I mean, you guys get the gist of that. Now I'm going to show you guys my send six. So it's really, really easy. What you're going to do is just baseline line, crash up, which is left, right stick up, LB, right stick up, just like before. And then to blitz all your linebackers, you're going to go RB right stick down now this is your user but you're not you're just you're not going to rezone him just keep him blitzing but obviously you're going to cover um so i'll block the running back here and you guys are going to see well yeah i'll block the running back actually i'm gonna send i'll send the running back out just to show you guys obviously it's six versus five so it's going to come in um but i want to show you guys how quick it comes in if they don't block anybody so um you get DT disengages, you get your edge pressures, you get your linebackers and nickels coming through. Now, I know it's six versus five. I know a guy's gonna come in. But when you guys when you have a DTA gap and your linebackers scream at you, it's very, very quick. Now I let myself go in for a second a little bit. You don't want to do that. Um I, my bad, I wasn't really paying attention. But I'll show you guys how to use her on the play. It's, you don't have to do anything, you just gotta leave your guy blitzing. So I'm sending that the running back again. So you don't have to let yourself go in. And very quick, it comes in. No problem, right? So there's your send six, okay? Now we're gonna start blocking the running back. Um, move him over a little bit. Now we'll start blocking the running back, but it's still gonna come in every single time um, without fail. So you see that we got the edge pressure and the nickel. I'll show you guys that on the replay here. So we got this edge pressure that was working and then the nickel just comes in free. Um, but if he doesn't, you still have this edge pressure that's gonna get in every time as well. Um, so we'll just keep doing that really quick for you guys. Man, I don't know what it is, guys. My adjustments just aren't working today. Black the running back again. And we get the nickel free and edge pressure again. No different. I mean, it's the same thing. Um, I'll probably only show it one more time and then I'll get into Max Pro. Um, but I mean, you guys get the gist, dude. I mean, it's, it's really going to come in every single time, to be honest with you. Um, that time we got the edge and the nickel. Um, it's insta sacks. Uh, now we'll max pro. Um, so that'll be right stick up. And that's going to do the best job against it. But since you get such good edge pressure and DTA gaps, you're going to get sacks really quickly, regardless, even if they 
touch your guys if that makes sense. So like, even if they pick them up initially, they're gonna shed in a heartbeat. So um, right there and comes in free. So the left tackle got confused with the end and he gets a disengage uh, free B gap. So you see here, um, the tackle was guarding him. I mean blocking him, and then he goes to block the nickel and just lets him in free. So. Um, this is versus Max Pro, so it's very, very good. Um, I don't think my baseline went through. I don't know what's up with my controller. I might need to get a new controller. It's kind of OC. But you guys get it here. I mean, I'm not going to literally keep showing you guys this over and over. Nickel comes free that time. You guys get it. It's easily one of the best blitzes in the game. Now, the best way to pick it up, so people can say, well, this is what people are going to say in the chat. Number one, the running back I'm blocking opposite the nickel. Well, yes, that's why we have auto flip on. The nickel's always going to be opposite the running back. Now, something you can do is you can obviously flip it after the huddle, and that will get the running back on that side. Or something else you could do is just motion the running back over. So I'll talk about that a little bit. And that they're, they're going to be right. I mean, that is the best way to block it. So I, I'm going to flip it for you. Um, and that's going to be the best way to block it. And I'm going to show you why. Because, look now, I can't get my nickels thing to go straight through like the end was before. So it's just not the same rush angle. You guys can tell. It's not the same. And that's true. So they're right in that, in that regard. But um, it's still going to be a decent blitz. Um, they're going to pick it up better. So my guys came in and tripped. Uh, while it's trying to tackle the quarterback. Um, but you guys can see, it still gets pretty good pressure. So the um, this guy trips right here trying to tackle him. But, I mean, that's probably the best way to do it. And then something else they can do is they don't want to flip the formation. So if they don't flip the more formation and just move the running back over, it's not going to help as much as it did while flipping the formation because I still have the good rush angle from my nickel, if that makes sense. Now flipping the formation actually does give it more trouble, um, but right there the linebacker actually was coming in free and gets a sack. So the best way to pick it up if I'm you is I it's come out of the huddle and then flip it after. So um, as you see the linebacker comes in free here and uh, he gets tripped up at the end, but he came in free. So the best thing that I can tell you guys to pick it up, come out in your play like this and then flip it. However, something you can do to counter that. So if they come out of it and they flip it, they still have to set up their hot routes. If they're gonna drag, post, whatever, they wanna flip it like that, you can just flip it back real quick as well. Now, um, like you say, okay, you can see right away. You'll see in the huddle, I can't show it in practice mode. You'll see right away if they flipped it. And when you see that, you just go X, RT, and they flip it for you, okay? So that's something you could do back to counter that. Um, that's always something you could do. And then you're set up again. So it's the same exact thing. Nickel's opposite the running back. You set up your blitz and you're good to go. Now, that time it actually got picked up. But I mean, you guys get what I'm saying. Practice mode is gonna, if you're gonna do all these flipping and stuff, like it's gonna mess up practice mode. I promise you guys, this is what I'm using in game. So if you wanna counter the blitz, come out of your play and flip it. If you wanna counter that flip, as soon as you see them flip, you flip yourself. That's all you gotta do. Um, you guys get the gist of it, man. It's really, really, really good blitz. Um, it's what I'm using. It's what a lot of the top pros are using right now. And it's gonna help you guys win more games. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Take it easy, man. Peace.